What's up guys, it's the homie Ken here. Thank you for stopping by on the channel. I highly appreciate it. Now, uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I know that this is mainly a sneaker channel, but uh, you know I'm slowly trying to change it into more of who I am as a whole. So that means every now and again, uh, the content that I'll be putting out will be parts of me that isn't just about sneakers and streetwear. You can be honest with me in the comment section if you vibe with it or not. You know, feedback is everything to me and I value you guys' opinion. So yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get it in. All right, so today's video, we're gonna unbox a couple of Funko Pops and uh, I'll give you my first impressions and semi-review of each Funko Pop that I picked up from Phil Bars in Makati. So shout out to Phil Bars, man. I'm a big fan of My Hero Academia. So, you know, with season five currently showing, I thought it was only appropriate for me to do this on the channel. Shout out to all the Boku no Hero Academia fans out there. You know what it is. Let's start with Kirishima. Kirishima Ichiro, quirk pardoning! So obviously this is his hero form in which he goes by the name of Red Riot. And I really like this version of him done because Loki, his costume is a lot better than his other classmates in class 1A. Kinda reminds me of Dante from Devil May Cry. I don't know if you guys are gonna agree with me on that, but that's just the vibe that I'm picking up with, uh, with him. Looking at the Funko Pop right now, I don't see any paint inconsistencies. They did a really good job with the details here, with his hair in particular. And again, the costume is really cool with the R on the, uh, what do you call it, like on the robe. His biceps or his arms showcasing his quirk which is being able to turn his body into stone i wish they would do another version of him though like uh, i forgot the name of the form i think it was unbreakable it was in season three he goes above and beyond with his quirk it's just super cool to look at but with the one that i got right now no complaints here no paint inconsistencies the box was really good as well with the details and all that so we are good to go on kirishima let's do tokoyami next now tokoyami is a strong character in my opinion and one of my favorites actually he just has a bit of a dark side though revel Revelry in the dark. Revelry in the dark. Revelry in the dark. Why does he keep saying that? His quirk is called Dark Shadow. Basically, he has this shadow monster living inside him in which he can contract and control freely. It's a pretty cool quirk to have. He just has this, uh, I think his weakness is fire or light whichever the case may be. Now, unlike Hiroshima, Tokoyami just has a black robe. This pretty basic, just a black robe. I wish that they could do a lot better in that department because with a quirk as powerful as Dark Shadow, you'd think that he could do better than looking like a sketchy wash salesman. <laughs> as far as details is concerned, there's not a lot with it because again, it's just a black robe and the way Tokoyami looks, it's just a crow or like a bird. So there's not a lot of details there, but I guess, I guess it's pretty okay. And as far as Dark Shadow itself, I'm not really that impressed because if you watch the series, Dark Shadow has a little bit more, um, it's just a lot of lines, like TV static. And I don't notice that here much. I guess it's hard to do that or it's hard to paint something like that, but I guess they tried. Overall, it's just okay. I'm not really blown away by it. I wish that they would do another version of him. Like Kirishima with the uh, unbreakable form, I know that Tokoyami has another form with his quirk. I forgot what it's called. He basically has Dark Shadow draped on him, like body armor. He has a cool nickname for that, like Black Abyss or Abysmal, no, Abyss. <laughs> I forgot I forgot the name. I'll just I'll just insert the clip for you to see. I'm better at close combat. I call it Abyssal Black Body. Huh? Huh? What I tell you? It looks cool, right? It looks so badass. But yeah, so hopefully they would do that in the next version of him, hopefully, in the near future. So yeah, let's get into the next Funko Pop. Next up, let's do let's do Momo. Her quirk is the ability to create non-living things from the lipids from her body. And also... My quirk transforms lipids into brand new atoms. That means the more I eat, the more I can make. <clears throat> like how poop works. Now, the outfit they did here is also her hero costume. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. She has her own platform. I don't know if it's favoritism with Momo. Or wait, maybe because I think it's pretty uneven without the okay sorry yeah i thought it could not stand alone without the funko because like the hair is really big in the back okay looking at it now i do see some paint inconsistencies on this one so the hairline man the hairline is so bad and the front hair like the bangs the paint is chipping off what happened here like there's like a couple of splotches and all that like the paint wasn't dry yet and then it kind of scraped off of something not a good job in terms of the paint job but I'll just have to live with it. 
All right, so there you have it from Momo Yaoyorozu. I really do like the platform, uh, the platform detail that they added here. Pretty basic, but at least it has a platform compared to the Kirishima and Tokuyami. And okay, so let's do Endeavor next. There is some definite weight to this, like it's really... Oh, whoa. Man, comparing it to Momo, this is a lot cleaner, just a lot, just a lot better overall. The way they did the flames is really nice. It's not just one color. There seems to be like a gradient fade from red to yellow. And also, it has this platform, a flaming platform. If you take a look at the pose, it kind of looks like he's mid-stride, like he's about to attack. His right fist has flames on it. I don't know about the move that he's trying to make here if it's maybe flash fire fist and prominence burn um i don't know which move this is but i really like that it's not just your basic pose for the funko pop like he's mid stride he's about to attack so it's very true to the character the way they did this funko pop right here all right so last but not least we got hitoshi shinso in the building he's quick uh, so it has a sticker here, special edition. I don't know why it's special edition. We'll just take a look and see what it looks like. The costume here is just your basic UA uniform. His pose right here is very nonchalant, like it's very relaxed. And his eyes is definitely one of the most, uh, the thing that defines him in my opinion. He has like this sleepy looking eyes on him. No pink inconsistencies. Oh wait, no, I take it back. Hairline is again not, they didn't really do a great job on the hairline, but I guess you can't really help it. So the hair, the eyes, top notch. There's not a lot of things to mess up with the outfit because again, it's just the uniform. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm looking forward to season five um, with class 1A and class 1B clashing. So there you have it, you guys, for the pickups that I did from Phil Bars in Happy. Trying to complete my uh, My Hero Academia. Oh, wow. I just noticed this now, but <laughs> the plastic is mangled as hell. What the hell happened here? Anyway, yeah, so just comment down below if you guys want me to do more uh, reviews of Funko Pops like this. Oh, um, there's actually one more that I picked up. Yeah, I also bought a Hodor Funko Pop right here. You know, the scene in Game of Thrones in which he was holding the door, it was very emotional. I just like this one in particular for some reason, like it would look really dope in display. That's pretty much it. You guys can comment down below if you guys want me to do more of Funko Pops uh, in the near future. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. <laughs>